Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. If you're looking at this on the replay, go ahead and give me a hashtag replay. Otherwise, give me a hashtag live. Should have posted a little bit of love. Today, we're going to look at something uh, that's kind of going along with the things we've been talking about recently. We're going to check out something called a profile funnel. Now, we've talked a little bit about what funnels are and why we want to use them and what the purpose is. But we haven't really shown you any examples up to this point. So in order to resolve that problem, we're going to look at some an example Otherwise, today. Hashtag. Oh, there we go. We got some audio popping through here that doesn't belong there. There we go. We're going to show you something called a profile funnel, which is about the simplest form of funnel you can do. You can do this funnel for free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's going to take a little bit of work on your part to get going. But... Without further ado, we're going to get into it here. Um, well, as soon as I figure out what I did with my broadcasting software. There it is. All right. So, profile funnel is going to look like this. We have a couple of things going on here. Very first thing that you'll notice is I've got a clear picture. Me smiling. Looks kind of friendly. Um we're programmed as human beings to want to do business with and to be attracted to people who are smiling, who have no barriers to entry. One of those barriers being um, wearing sunglasses, um, face obstructions, masks, things of that nature. So profile funnel, we want to have the best opportunity in being visible in order to do that we need to have a good profile picture that's clean and easy to look at that doesn't provide um, a barrier to entry. The next thing that we want to do is we want it to be very clear what it is that we do. So we want to strip this left sidebar from all of the stuff that we normally have there, we, where, you, where you went to school, where you work, where you graduated from, um, who you're married to, all of the stuff, and you'll notice that I left the, my name pronunciation in here, um, and that's because um, my name isn't isn't common. Callan is something that um, a lot of people won't just immediately get. So this is actually there to help people connect with me. Um, the only other thing that I have down here is a link directly to the group that you're probably viewing this from right now, or or the replay from on YouTube. So it's very very clear what's happening, very clear what I do. I teach entrepreneurs to scale their business through sales skills, funnels, and automation. Um, you you want to make, make it very clear. Now, remember, the confused mind says no. Rather than buying, uh, they run away. So we want to make the call to action very, very clear. You'll notice the top cover photo. I, again, have a picture of me. The name of my group. Um, I have a photo that shows um, a screenshot of the free affiliate training course that I'm giving away. And the affiliate training course is something that I put together as a loss leader in order to help drag people into my group. Um, it teaches a lot of good skills right up front. And it's something that's enticing. It says, hey, I'm going to give you a little something for you coming into the group and saying hello and participating and joining. It's that little extra nudge when people are on the fence, so to speak. Uh, we've got a large call to action in the middle. It says free affiliate training course, join my group. Join my group looks like a button. So when they click on it, you're gonna come to the description screen. It looks just like this. Um, in the description screen, it says request access to the group now, digital marketing and business for beginners. We have trainings for all level marketers, beginners through veteran, with free affiliate, market training course inside and you'll see that I've tagged the group so I didn't explicitly have to leave the uh, the URL which is kind of ugly but if you go over it they can request the option to join obviously I'm in the group otherwise this would just say join with a plus sign then they would be asked the questions uh, for entry we have in order to help bring people into the group is the featured photo as a feature photo we want to uh, Keep the call to action very clear. Have it very simple. Join my group, free affiliate training course. Here is pointing up. And they're boom, they're pointing right here to this ad link. 
Um, the other thing is that when we click here, we'll get the option for another description. Free affiliate training course is available exclusively inside my free Facebook group. Join now and get started. And then I've tagged it for easy access. They can click it to join. Um, these are very easy in the description for anybody on mobile to be able to come through and, and click on your subscription and, and find their way into the group if that's something that they want to do. Um, but it also prevents something that's huge, something that, that I highly recommend straying away from, and that's dropping your link everywhere, right? We don't want to be that person who's spamming our group link all over the place. We don't want to be messaging everybody, be like, hey, join my group, join my group, join my group. We don't want to spam the invite link to everybody. We only really want people in the groups that want to be in the group, somebody that's going to find value, people that are going to participate. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But one of the big reasons is that when your group is huge and it's full of a lot of people who don't really care about being there, they're not going to engage with the content. And when they do that, the lower engagement rate with the content um, helps reduce the spread of your group organically through the search in the top bar, right? If I start searching for digital marketing, uh, digital marketing and business for beginners comes up, but we also get digital marketing hacks for online entrepreneurs, digital marketing and social media tips for promoting health services. Now, with a very low engagement rate, this might end up down past digital trends to the see all results for digital. Almost nobody goes there. It's like it's like going to page seven on Google. It's just it's just not where people are going to be found. It's not where anybody wants to be. That's not going to drag people into the group. It's not going to get what they need. But the profile funnel is a way of getting in front of people um, without having to just go screaming at the top of the mountain. So you've got a couple of ways you can go about it. You're going to need to find your dream customers. The customers that you believe need your product and service after you've niched down and are the perfect fit for the people that you specifically need to target. Your your one percent, right? The the people who absolutely need your service beyond a shadow of a doubt more than anyone else. Those are the people we're looking for. We want to go and find groups of them, places where these people hang out, and then we want to add value. And what do we all do? We see somebody post something, it catches our attention. What's the first thing you do? Yep, that's right. You go click on their profile and you go investigate. You say, who is this person? What do they do? Who do they know? Should I trust them? What's this information that they're providing me? Do they really know what they're talking about? And then you come and you see a profile and the profile has got pictures of their grandkids and, you know, pictures of them being drunk on the weekends? And does it seem like somebody that you can trust in a professional setting? Well, maybe you can, but there's no way to be able to tell that. Now you come to a profile where somebody's giving you marketing advice in a group. Say, for example, our group, you run across somebody that's in an affiliate marketing group or an MLM marketing group, and they drop this thing that makes a lot of sense and seems like it's full of massive value, but you're not sure if you can trust them, but you come to a profile that looks like this. They're giving away a free course. They have a group. They talk to people. They're all about helping entrepreneurs scale with using scale skills, funnels, and automations. This seems a lot more legit. And on top of it, now it's targeted. It's like they're talking right to me when I go investigate that profile and it says, hey, join my group, affiliate training course. I'm interested in affiliate training courses and boom, you end up in the group, joined up, answering questions and you become engaged within that group and that content. Freaking amazing, right? So this is about as basic as it can get for a funnel. Um, it, it's a very, very easy funnel to put together now, I highly recommend for completing these um, the cover photos and your uh, feature profile uh, to use in Canva. Um, one of the big things is you really need to make sure that when you're putting these images together, things are centered and things are going to change a little bit on mobile 
Uh, I'm going to see real quick if maybe I can get you, maybe I can do a little screen share here on mobile um, and show you exactly what my profile is going to look like so we can kind of discuss that a little bit. Um, let me just try to invite myself here. There I am. Oh, well, and here we go. I've actually, I've taken a picture of it already. So this is what the profile looks on mobile. You can see the call to action is still clear. The profile picture ends up moving to the center. And that's something that we, uh, we don't have any control over. It just does what it does. So we have to adjust around it. So we make sure that the name of the group, uh, the main hook and my call to action are all above the profile picture so that they're not being obstructed. And from there, life is pretty much good as far as completing this funnel is concerned. Um, from there, your job is just to get in front of people so people can go into this funnel and end up into the group. Once they're in the group, you, you don't really own the traffic yet, but you kind of control the traffic, right? Uh, keeping high engagement in your group, uh, staying in front of people, they're all gonna be great ways to be able to make sure that your profile funnel pulls people into your sphere of influence so that you have a little bit of um, a little bit of pull, a little bit of um, yeah, a little bit of authority over them in the niche that you're trying to work in. So I want to see everybody go out and complete that profile funnel. Um, uh, again, you're going to look at uh, Canva. Uh, Canva is a is a free tool, and as you can see, I've I've done my design here for the profile funnel. Um, now it's 700 by 700. If you use a different size for the featured photo, um, you're gonna end up having your image shifting all over the place. It's not gonna center, it's gonna look funky. Um, funky to the point where I'm not gonna click on it. I'm definitely not gonna join the link that's in it. Um, it it's gonna look funked. So 700 by 700 is gonna be the optimal size for that. And then you also have, um, oh, that is not the right one. Um, you also have your cover photo, which you want to do um, in the, uh, the standard cover photo size. This is uh, not a special size for Canva. You'll see that if you go to the create a design, um, you'll see the Facebook cover. That's the one that you want. That's going to give you the right size. Let me blow that up for you here so you can see that a little bit better. Right here, your Facebook cover option. That's gonna give you a um, pre-sized piece. Now you wanna stay away from this little section kind of here in the middle. You gotta kind of imagine that circle here and you probably don't wanna put anything right to the bleeding edge of these so that there's a little bit of room uh, for adjustments. They change things a little bit from time to time. We wanna be able to set this and not have to screw with it a whole lot until we're about ready, right? So go ahead and hop into Canva and get those adjusted. There's all kinds of uh, background images and fun stuff that you need in there. If you need a little bit of help getting your profile image set up, just go ahead and reach out to me. I can help you out. Um, I will send you on the right way. Now, I by no means am a design wizard. Um, if you'd prefer to somebody that is a design wizard, you might want to go take a look at Fiverr or something like that and have somebody design this for you. But it doesn't need to be anything spectacular. It just needs to catch your eye. It needs to be very clear about what it is that you're doing. Um, and you need to make sure that there's no confusion as to what your call to action is. So we want to be able to attract people to clicking on these links, joining the groups, and from there, interacting with our content where we can build the factors for know, like, and trust, ultimately for the purchase, um, ultimately for helping people. And... Uh, and I assure you, by helping people, purchases will come. Anyway, that's all that we have today on Profile Funnels. Go ahead and get that stuff set up. Um, I'm going to do another recording here uh, very shortly. We're going to talk about a couple of other types of funnels that you may need within your business. There are a lot of them, a lot of different kinds. And we're going to take out the blueprint. We're going to show you how to do a few of these things. Anyway, keep watching for that. And I will see you guys next time.